Hey everybody, what's going on? Josh right here, back again with another video here on MLB The Show 23. We got some more Road to the Show coming your way with Julio Tejada. And as you can see, we are in the Queens for today's video. We are getting ready to play the New York Mets. As you can see, Sean Reed fully currently on the mound. And you can see Julio Tejada's stats right there on the big uh, Jumbotron out there in City Field. It's pretty cool. 765 average, 28 home runs, 61 RBIs. So Julio Tata can look at that in these first, in these uh, three games we're playing the Mets, and uh, it will remind him how awesome of a hitter he is. There's a base hit in the left field. That's going to score a run. Just like that, Oakland's up one zip. They strike first here in the first against Sean Reed Foley, somebody who I didn't even know he still played. Um, I looked up his baseball reference earlier, and yeah, it turns out he's still going. And Miguel Sano becomes the first out here in the first inning. That's going to bring in Joel Pozo, hitting 136, having a phenomenal year. Let's look at look at his numbers on the jumbotron. Um, I think that says three home runs, six RBIs. Yeah, he's a he's a character. He he's having a fun, in an okay season. Runners in second and third now, two outs. G-Man Choi currently at the plate. And I think Sean Reed fully started to get a little bit comfortable because he struck out the next three batters he saw. All right, well, Tejada's up again. And the Mets took a 3-2 to two lead. I don't think it showed or not um, at the beginning of the uh, video, but the A's currently have a winning record. I know we're still in April. But it's still pretty cool that we're 12 and 10. So I'm pretty sure A's fans would love to hear that news, that their team is currently above 500. I know it's not much, and I know we're still really early into the season, but it's still it's it's still something. It's a slow start. And Sean Reed Foley's going to walk in a run. Miguel Snow, full count. It's going to tie up the game. Here's Pozo, 0 for 1. Imagine if he hit a grand slam. I, I would I would love to see Yo Pozo hit a grand slam. That's in the left field. Instead, it's going to land into the left fielder's glove. So that's the closest thing to a grand slam Yo Pozo is probably ever going to get. Moving on to the bottom of the second inning, Starlin Marte. He spent some time in Oakland, I believe, for like half a year. Hits a ground ball to short. Tejada throw to first in time. That is out number three here in the second inning. So now we're in the fourth inning. Game's now tied. Man, this has been quite a ball game. We're, we've been scoring a lot. And it looks like the Mets have been scoring a lot also. Base hit in the left field. So um, we're just going to have to try and play the uh, best baseball that we can in these next three games. So anyway, we get a, another double for Julio Tejada. Here's Miguel Sano again. He walked his last time up. Is he going to walk again? He's got a 3-0 count. Looks like he will. I think Sean Reed Foley's a little, a little nervous to uh, face um, Miguel Sano. I don't know. But uh, since we're playing the Mets, hang on, Pozo? Is, it, is that a grand? No, oh, he had a sack fly. I was going to say, did he hit one out? I was say, did Pozo hit one out of the park? He did not, unfortunately. But the A's are going to take the lead. The A's will take the lead. I will take that. The Taking the lead is better than not taking the lead. And G-Man Choi is going to hit one into right field. Catch is made by Marte. And we're going to go to the bottom of the fourth. Oakland has a 5-4 lead. Moving on to the bottom of the fourth inning. The Mets have runners at second, first and second with nobody out. Brandon Nimmo's up right now. Hits a, cur hits a weak ground ball to short. Todd is going to try and flip it for a double play. They're going to get one. However, Brandon Nimmo is going to be safe at first. And the Mets are going to have runners in the corners. And now they have a 9-5 to five lead. Dalton Jeffries is now pitching. With two outs here in the fourth. Rafael Ortega. One for two. Ground ball. Try this again. Get the force at second. And so now... It's now a 9-5 Mets lead. 
And JT Brubaker, I think he used to play with the Pirates. Currently on the mound for New York. So, um, it's been a while since I've done shout outs, but, uh, I figure this would be a good time to uh, do a shout out on a good friend of mine who's a big fan of the Mets, and that is uh, Frank, aka Riz Daddy uh, TV. What's his, his uh, thing on Twitch? Let me see. Yeah, he's on Twitch. Riz Daddy 1090 or uh, Prince of Stupidity, as you guys knew him. For those of you who don't know, he was uh, one of my uh, first YouTube friends uh, back in the day. Pretty much uh, how I found his videos. I think it was a, like a Mets video back in like 2019. I was just looking for... I don't know why. I was looking for uh, Mets fans uh, ranting about their team. Nice hit, by the way, for Tahada. But yeah, um, been catching up with him. Uh, you can follow him on Twitch. I think he still does YouTube. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, definitely check him out on Twitch. I'll put a link to it down in the description box below. So yeah, Frank, if you're listening, or if you're watching, uh, yeah, shoutouts to you, dude. Shoutouts to you. And uh, also, uh, I just want to say thank you to Everyone who not just supports Frank, but uh, supports me as well. As uh, the Mets score another run. Scores on a 10-7. I, I appreciate everybody who comes by and supports this channel. You know, uh, everyone who's liked this vi video or su subscribed. Definitely helps out a lot. Thank you guys again for all the amazing support. Just like Mets fans are going to be thinking... Pete Alonzo for scoring another run for him, making the score 11 to 7 Oakland or New York, excuse me, here in the ninth. I would, I wish Pete Alonzo played for the for uh, for Oakland. That would really help us out. Nothing against uh, Miguel Sano or G Man Choi. It just, well, it's big meat, Pete. But yeah, definitely check out Prince Stupidity. Shouts to you, man. Or uh, Riz Daddy. I know that's what he goes by now, but... Yeah, sorry if I keep calling you Prince Stupidity. It's, that's uh, that's kind of what I knew you by. I, when I first met you, and uh, I don't know why. I, I just kind of like the that name better. Either way, shouts to you. And it looks like your New York Mets are going to take the win here in Game 1. 11-7, the final score. Um, had a meltdown in the fourth inning. Looks like, um, yeah, not our, not our best performance, but we hit the ball well. Offensively, we were we were fine. We just couldn't really do anything pitching wise. Bullpens kept having meltdowns, and yeah, it just wasn't a very pretty game. It was not a pretty game for either team, but there is a but. It was the Mets who were victorious in Game 1. Now let's see what happens in Game 2. Joe Ross, former Washington National, is at the is on the mound. The A's have a runner at second with one out. And Julio Tejada up again with that 759 average. Has a 2,500 OPS. Good heavens. Fouls it off again. Count is 0-2. Joe Ross. Kind of interesting seeing him in a Mets jersey. Not going to lie. It, uh, it's kind of cool seeing him in a Mets jersey. 0-2 pitch. Hup. Base hit in the left field. That's going to score the runner from second. And once again, the A's strike first. It's one zip. And look at that. We extend the hitting streak. 
Take a look at that again. Nice base hit down the line. And of course, it's a double. Yeah, Miguel's. Er, and you know Julio Tejada loves his doubles. That's for sure. So two outs now. Here's the old Pozo hitting a buck 33. And he worked a walk. Pozo, I'm so proud of you. You walked. In your first at bat of the game, you walked. You didn't strike out. I'm so proud of you. And G-Man Choice taking a walk on four pitches. I love to see that. And now we got the bases loaded. However, Armenteros has a 0-2 count. And he's hitting 190. And he's going to do what most players do when they have an 0-2 count. And they're going to pop up to the first baseman. So now we move on to the bottom of the first. And however, the, unfortunately, that one nothing lead we had didn't really last long. As the Mets took a 3-1 to lead. Tejada trying to get the out at second. They will not get the out at first, unfortunately, though. So it's two outs in the first for New York. Here's Jack Suwinski. I think he was with the Pirates before. Either way, he's playing today. Starting the game, I believe, in left field. Ground ball, Tejada. Trying to make this throw safe. So now we go to the third, and it is now a 5-1 to one Mets lead. And Tejada's going to hit one a deep left field. Looking up, and this one is off the wall. Runner moves to third, Tejada safe at second, and he is two for two. Yeah, here comes Miguel Sano, 2-2 two -two count, runner at second and third. Here's the pitch on its way from Joe Ross, and Miguel Sano goes down on strikes. And here's Pozo, and hey, he wor and he's working the count full. And it and just like and for the second time today, Yoel Pozo has worked a walk. First time on a on a 3-0 count. And the second time on a 3-2 count. J Man Choi goes down swinging. And Armenteros, just like Yoel Pozo, worked a full count. And they're gonna go for a hit and run that's in the left field. Catch is made. And we're going to go to the bottom of inning number three. Fast forward to the fourth inning. A's have runners at first and second. Two outs. Mets are up five to one. Joe Ross feeling pretty comfortable with his lead. And that's in the deep left field, and that baby is gone. Three-run home run, Julio Tejada. And just like that, it's a one-run game. And it's a tied game now. Hey, look. I, I love how I mentioned, oh, he's got to be feeling pretty comfortable with his lead. And then all of a sudden, he blows it. So now we go to the sixth inning. The A's have a runner at first. There's one out. Jose Quintana, former Cardinal. Currently on the mound. Let's see. Jose Quintana, he's been with the White Sox. He's been with the Cubs. He's been with the Angels, the Pirates. I think he was with the Giants for a little bit, and then he was in St. Louis. And now he's been with uh, New York. And the base is loaded again. Uh-oh. Base is loaded, one out. If you guys have seen my last two other videos where we had the bases loaded, you guys know what happened. Maybe it happens here again today. City Field. Man, this is a really nice ballpark to play at. 
Line to the third baseman for out number two. Please don't tell me we're going to leave the bases loaded. Yep, we're going to leave the bases loaded. And the Mets are going to walk it off. Final score, 6-5. to five. Man, not exactly what I was expecting. But it's whatever. Ooh, we got a diamond card. We can uh, we could probably open that at the end of the video. So now we're gonna move on to game three. Paul Blackford versus Kota Senga. I want to change the unis real quick. I want to switch to the black jerseys. Let's do that. See if the black jerseys give us any luck. So we got Paul Blackburn on the mound for Oakland. Having an ERA over five. And then Kota Singa. Someone who's not having a great start to the season either. As you can see, Julio Tejada has not walked once this year. He doesn't need to walk. Instead, he hits... Um, RBI doubles. And just like that, for the third time in a row, it's 1-0 A's. Here's Miguel Sano. He's probably going to strike out again. What did I tell you? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm like a fortune teller. And then Pozo, I don't know what he'll do. He's been working, he's been getting walked a lot in this series. Would love to see if he does it again. But this time he makes contact on a fastball. And he grounds out to big meat Pete Alonzo at first. And speaking of Pete Alonzo, here he comes to lead things off. In the bottom of inning number two. As you can see, Oakland still has their one nothing lead. There's a ground ball to Tejada. Throw to first. In time, that is out number one. So one out now in the second. Here's Danny Jansen. Let's see, he's coming over from the Blue Jays. He's got, he'll be a free agent at the end of the year. Tejada. Come on, man. Get this throw. No, come on. He was so close. To pulling that off. Oh, brother. Wait, what happened? What happened? Did he... Oh, Jeff McNeil hit into a double play. Oh, okay. I was going to say, how is there two outs? Hold on. I'm confused. Second inning... Hunter grind out. Grand first. Oh, infield single. But they counted it as an out. That's weird. Very weird. Um, anyway, it's the third inning. I'll count it. It's whatever. Moving on. Hula Tejada base hit in the left center. That is going to be a two out single. For my guy, the starting shortstop for the Oakland A's, number 10, Julio Tejada. And Miguel Sano lines out, flies out to left, catches mid. Bottom of the fourth inning. A's still have a 1 0 lead. Starla Marte is at the Plate for the Mets. Ground ball to short. Tejada. Throw to first. One out. Moving on to the top of the fifth. Oakland has a still has a one nothing lead. Two outs, and Tejada gets his third hit of the game. That's gonna be. It's probably gonna be a double. No one Julio Tejada. He loves his doubles. Yeah. He does. Just like uh, his doubles love him. 
It's a, it's a perfect duo. It's a perfect match. And Miguel Sano hits one to deep right field. And he flies out to in the inning. Once again. Moving on to the eighth inning. John Curtis now uh, on the man for the Mets. That is absolutely crushed down the line, but it's going to go foul. Making contact again, and Tejada's four for four. Oh, I know I smoked it. I smoked it like it was a Thanksgiving turkey. I would steal, but I have 58 speed. Would love to try and work on that speed, kind of get that to go up a little bit. Because when I originally created Julio Tejada, I tried to make him more of like a uh, like a power, or not really a power hitter, but be kind of like a contact guy, you know, really quick on the bases, you know, kind of like uh, like Ricky Henderson. Not really much of a power guy, but like a contact guy, and he steals bases. <sighs> Now we move on to the eighth, or bottom of the eighth. Paul Blackburn still doing his thing. Seems like the Mets have been having a hard time hitting him today. As Sahada makes a great play. And just like that, the A's are five defensive outs away from avoiding the sweep. Let's go, Oakland. Also, another thing, too, this may be the last... National League team we played for a while because it seems like the last four teams we played as uh, that's going to be an infield single for uh, Jack Swinski. But yeah, see, uh, I think our last four matchups were against National League teams. Like we played the Cardinals, we played the Diamondbacks, Reds, Pirates, and now uh, the New York Mets. So five National League teams in a row. And then our next series, I think, will be against the Tampa Bay Rays. And hey, what do you know? The Oakland A's won a ball game. The A's are going to avoid the sweep. I'm telling you, the black jerseys, they work. They're, they're, they're a magic charm. They're our good luck charm. I think we should wear the black jerseys again in our next video. Kind of, be, kind of have that like be a good luck charm. Like every time like after the A's win, we should wear the black jerseys or something I don't know what do you guys think but uh, we're gonna open that diamond card real quick to see what we get and then I'm gonna end the video from there so let's see what we ended up getting so inventory there's my packs we got an unlockable we're gonna open that first let's see mic drop LH2 limbo watch out dugout RH1 uh, what do we want? I said we'd do this one. And then the diamond card, let's see who we get here. So, 99, 2001, Mike, Mike Cameron, Buck O'Neill. I think this was from the uh, ne Negro League series, I think it is. Um, Jock Peterson, 99, 2015. We've got Zach Gallon, All Star, 99, and then 99 overall. All-Star game, Marcus Simeon. Hmm, who do we want? Um, my Cameron's got good speed. Um, who's got the better power? 125 power for Jock. Uh, let's go Jock. Wait, hang on, what's the uh, first baseman? Hmm. I say we get Jock. Okay. Well, that's going to do for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, you guys know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. Appreciate it, the support we've been getting on these videos. Also, make sure to go subscribe to my good friend, Mr. Frank, RizDaddy10090. Again, his link to his Twitch will be in the description. And yeah, with that said, I will talk to you guys later.